What is happening YouTube, it's your boy Tech Tricks back with another video and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your iPad Pro just like a computer and we're gonna take a look at LumaFusion 2.0 as well. Here we go. One, two, three, oh. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your iPhone and your Android. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. And here we go. If you haven't already know that the best platform for iPad Pro editing videos for your YouTube channel is LumaFusion. They recently updated LumaFusion to 2.0 all for free if you have the first one. And we're gonna break down all the new things that the LumaFusion have on their 2.0. Here we go. One of the first features that LumaFusion has is a second display where you can display your second screen as the full screen. I'll show you here in a second. So for example, before you're editing on your iPad Pro and you wanted to see this picture, your display, your preview to a bigger screen, then with 2.0, you can just press this button right here, which is the airplane button. You can also use this with AirPlay if you have um, Apple TV, but you just press it and it'll come up there. So now you can edit and see your preview on a bigger screen. Of course, with uh, LumaFusion 2.0, you get a very different UI right here. It's very clean, actually, I really like it. And you will be able to see all your tools right in the bottom instead of having it right here before and then over there and then up there. Now everything is in the bottom, nice and clean and it's very simple. One of the things they added and I guess combined is the settings and the help button right there. If you hold it, you will see a representation of all where everything is. It's all labeled right there. And then if you want the settings, you can just click it and it'll come up. As you all can see there, the next thing that they added is the timeline. So before we couldn't, we don't have this timeline right here. And now we have this brand new timeline where you can scroll, scroll around it just like that. Maybe you're doing a two hour video or even like a 10 minute video. It gets hard on trying to find where all everything are. Now here you're going to have a preview of the timeline just up here and you'll be able to scroll around with it as well. The next feature that I think is a very useful for those of you who are doing a precision editing is a swipe to the left, right, right there, which is called, they call the scrubbing. So you can scrub left to right, whichever clip you want to edit. With that, the scrubbing, you can also hold the play button and you can, this is what they call the jog wheel. And then you'll be able to go faster as as it for progress right there. One frames per second, two frames per second, five and so on. The next thing they added as well is having markers on your videos so that you can select and pinpoint whichever you want to go back to, to change the transition or anything like that. So to do that, you press the marker right there and just go transition two and you're good to go. You can even change the colors on your markers, green, yellow, change it to whatever you like. One of the most useful things as well as a YouTuber is having that notes on your videos so you know which how many frames per second a video is, how what's the quality as well. To do that, you can click this eye with the circle thing right there and it would show you the frames per second and the project name and all sorts of things right there. You can also do that on your on your photos or your videos. It would show you, say you wanna look at this video and you wanna look at the frames per second and all the notes. For information for this video, you will be able to do that right here. You can also add notes if you want and put a tag right on here. With LumaFusion 2.0, as you already can see here, you can add six tracks of 4K videos up here. And at the same time, six tracks of audio right below as well. So that's crazy. So let's say you wanna clone this. There you go, clone it. And just keep going. We can have up to six of those. That is crazy. There you go. 
and that's it for uh, two, Luma Fusion 2.0. Best features anyway. I mean, Luma Fusion added a lot more into this. It's just minor tweaks, but good job Luma Fusion for doing this. And it's amazing how we can just edit on our iPad Pro. It's amazing because you don't have to go home or go to a desktop or bring your laptop with you just so you can edit. You can do it all on your iPad Pro now. You can even do it on your iPhone. All these things are available on both mobile devices, tablets. It's amazing how you can even have six tracks, which is Premiere Pro don't even have, of 4K videos on LumaFusion 2.0. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial, little overview of what's new on LumaFusion 2.0. I hope you guys have a good day. Comment below if you guys use LumaFusion and how you use it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell as well. Share this to your friends who wants to edit on their iPad and also their iPhone. Hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.